Good day, grade 12. My name is Kaden Matokere, and I'd like to welcome you to one of my lessons from one of my textbooks, The Distinction Bound Student, grade 12. Well, I'm the author and publisher of those books, The Distinction Bound Student, grade 10, 11, and 12. And thank you to those of you who, um, who buy or who have bought those books. Well, in this lesson, I'm going to explain the shutdown point. And uh, I've been talking about it in the previous lessons, the ones for normal profit, economic profit, and economic loss. And uh, before I go deep with the lesson, uh, or before I get to the graphs themselves, uh, I just want to give you the rules. Um, and, and I just want to say some of the things that I normally say if I'm, in, if I'm actually explaining to learners right in front of me. Well, the first thing I want to, or the first thing I always make sure that I uh, give them or the information I give them first before I get to that is, well, I start by talking about uh, a couple of curves or, um, yeah, curves, ACs, MCs, and so on. Well, the first two that I talk about is MC and MR. And uh, if you have a pen, write this down because this is important. Just write MC and MR are used to determine profit maximization. And profit is maximized at a point where MC intersects MR. The next two curves I'm going to talk about is AR and AC. AR and AC are used to determine uh, the type of profit or they are used to determine whether a firm is making a normal profit an economic profit or an economic loss. And uh, if AR is equal to AC, we say the firm is making a normal profit. If AR is greater than AC, we say the firm is making an economic profit. If AR is less than AC, we say the firm is making an economic loss. And the next two curves I'm going to talk about is AR and AVC. And maybe I can also include um, MC maybe, well AR and AVC, maybe an AMC and MC. I hope I'm not confusing you. I used to determine whether if, whether or not a firm should shut down. A firm should sh consider shutting down at a point where um now now there is a phone that disturbed me. Okay, let me rethink what I'm saying. MR no no. AR and AVC are used to determine whether or not a firm should shut down, right? And a firm should consider shutting down if its price or AR or average revenue is less or equal to average variable cost. Well, it will make more sense if you write it down and uh, if you, you know, go continue with the lesson uh, and, and look at the graphs as I'm going to explain it uh, right here. As usual, we start our graphs with, yo, here you need a bit of concentration, but it's not complicated, you see just now. And and um, I'm going to draw this in a, and I'll include way too many things, and, and it's not really how you should draw it in an exam if they ask you to draw and show the, the shutdown point. I'm doing it basically for you to understand what's going on. So let's get with it. Now, to get started with my explaining, I'm going to talk about the way I drew my MC. And then, uh, well, I drew it sort of in two sections for a reason. The first, sorry, the reason is um, when, I, when I introduce the average variable cost, you'll see that we'll have sort of two sections of the MC. And, and the top part of it, we call it the supply curve. Well, usually they would say in an exam, identify the supply curve in the graph above. And the supply curve would be the marginal cost curve. And uh, as you can see here, uh, our marginal cost curve has a point where it's uh, what solid and then a point where it's dotted. The dotted part is actually the supply curve. Any point below the AVC is not really part of the supply because the firm will not supply that uh, those units, um, if you understand what I'm saying. But uh, let me uh, introduce the other things. Uh, don't be surprised by where 
my demand curve is positioned. Yes, it's way above. But looking at it, uh, I, I just want to explain some concepts as I'm going down and down and down. So what's going on here is that um, at this point in time, we only can tell the profit, the, 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 the profit maximizing point. So here I'm saying, if the price is seven rand, uh, this would be our demand curve because the demand curve is equal to the price is equal to AR is equal to MR. So this would be, let me point it. This point A would be the profit maximizing point if the price is five rand. Now, is this firm making a profit or loss? No, we don't know because we don't have the average cost curve. The next thing I want to show you is introducing the curves that I was talking about. So we have the average cost curve here and we have the average variable cost curve here. Before I go far or before I forget, it the AVC will always be below the AC. And the reason is, let me show you, the reason is fixed cost and uh, variable cost is equal to total cost. So if we say average fixed cost plus average variable cost, we are going to get average total cost. And we usually don't uh, put this T <clears throat> when it comes to the curves. So I bet you know an average cost curve. And I've just now you can see the average variable cost curve here. And uh, you probably haven't seen the average fixed cost curve. But the point I'm putting across here is that if we take, if a, if average fixed cost is five rand and average variable cost is six rand, average cost would be 11. So do you see that? average cost will always be more than average variable cost because average cost is average variable cost plus average fixed cost. Uh, so there's no way you would ever, it's more like saying five plus six is equal to four. How is that? It's impossible. Uh, so basic, so as long as average variable cost is six, average fixed cost is something. Because there is fixed cost somewhere. You, you, you have costs that are fixed as a business. So that something makes, even if it's 0 0.1, makes the average cost 6.1. So 6.1 is above 6. So one way or the other, you always see the average fixed cost, the, the average variable cost below the average cost. So it will always be like this as you see here. Okay, uh, introducing other concepts or moving on with our lesson. I'm going to ask a couple of questions and these questions would uh, help you to understand. Well, the first question I'm going to ask is, okay, now that we have the average cost curve, uh, there are some questions that we can answer. So I, I hope I'll be able to, to, to write everything I want to write here. So I'm going to write average revenue here. Well, we have it there. Okay, yeah, but I will. And then I'm going to write average cost here. Then we can tell the type of profit here. So profit or, or loss. So we have profit or loss there. Right, so having that, let's look at a scenario where market forces of demand and supply uh, give us a seven. So if the market price is seven, this individual is a price taker. So he is going to sell his units for seven rand per unit. So if that's the case, uh, is this firm making a profit or loss? Okay, so if it's seven, so we put a seven here, what is our cost? Well. I don't really know, but somewhere here, let's, 
assume this would be five okay i'll make it a five i i hope yeah it makes sense to make it a five so what is seven minus five seven minus five is equal to two so this firm is actually making an economic profit so if the market price is five rand remember what we want to find out in this lesson we want to find out at which point should this firm shut down or which one is the shutdown point okay that's that's what we are looking for all right so this firm should the firm shut down or not well obviously if the price is seven rent this firm should continue and why clearly the firm should continue because number one according to the rule the firm should continue if ar is greater than avc so or, or, or i should not worry okay let me say ar and avc so let me not talk about this uh but i'll, I'll end up confusing you so i would rather continue the way i'm doing it well our avc is somewhere here i don't know what this is seven six five four three maybe it's a three but clearly whatever it is it's way less than seven so this firm we can we say they should continue what if the market price would drop to six rand so now we have a new demand curve and in that demand curve we have a price of six and so i'm going to write six here and by the way we said our average cost you see our average cost is still down there it's five so if it's five the firm is making an economic profit of one rand so definitely this firm can survive they should continue what if the price drops to okay that's what if the price drops to five rand well if the price drops to five rand according to what we see here this firm is making now zero and zero is normal profit and normal profit is good enough reason for a firm to continue so definitely at a normal profit of zero uh, as we can see here the firm should continue the firm should not even think about shutting down all right what if the price drops uh, from five rand to four rand well if this happens so we now have an average revenue of four and we still have our average cost at five so now we have a negative one so this firm is now making an economic loss so making that economic loss of negative one rand the firm should consider whether it should shut down or not but now according to the rule uh the the value of our ar is four i should have been talking about ar and avc more than even talking about economic profit and economic loss but yes i'm i'm talking about it now and you can hear me avc so if we look at oh i can write it here at this point in time our ar here is four you see and our avc here is average variable cost the red line you can see our avc is down there probably at three so if this is four and this is at three our ar is greater than our average variable cost so this firm should continue even though it's making an economic loss of one rand per unit negative one what if the price drops now to to four to three rand well now we have reached a point where ar is now equal to avc so according to the rule a firm should consider shutting down when its average revenue is less or equal so in this case it's equal to avc so this then turns out to be the point so basically point e in this case the point that we always know as equilibrium in according to this graph point e is our shutdown point because this is a point where avc intersects mc 
And I'm going to show you a clean graph uh, after this uh, because just to remove that um, confusion if, if it has been created. So if we look here, uh, this particular firm should what should shut down at three rands. Uh, now, uh, continuing with what I was doing, it's now three. Well, that one is five, so it's negative two. So our loss is even bigger now. It's now making an economic loss of two rands per unit. And uh, according to our rule, the firm should not even consider selling at any like. If the price will drop anywhere below three rand, the firm should shut down. And I always ask this just to follow up and see if learners have understood. I, I, I'll pick any amount. And the answer I want to know is, should the firm shut down or continue? So if I pick three rand 50, the answer should be continue. Because any, any number I say, according to my graph at this point in time, any number I say being the price has to be, uh, above three rand for you to say the firm should continue but if any number that i say happens to be lower than three rand then the firm should shut down for instance if i say what if the price is two rand 95 the firm should shut down because the, the the price is less than average variable cost what if the price is three rand two cents the firm should continue because that two cents makes it above AVC. What if the price is four rand? Yes, continue. Three rand fifty, continue. Three rand, shut down. Two rand ninety nine, shut down. One rand, shut down. Five rand, continue. It's as simple as that. So, uh, just to give the rest of the things, here is our graph clean without any interference. So, from this particular graph, I'm not going to draw anything. I'll just use a pointer. Uh, just to show you some things. Yes, uh, I removed all that other nonsense that I put in the previous graph. Like I said, I did it for you to just understand. But if you look at what's going on now here, it's clearer. And here we have our marginal cost curve and it's dotted above the AVC. And so the dotted part of the MC is our supply curve. But if they say, identify the supply curve in the graph above, you just say MC. But if you have to explain, the supply curve is the point above the AVC. Yes, the point on the MC above the AVC is our supply curve. In this case, is the dotted line. Because this here, the firm will not supply any quantities below the AVC. So they will supply any quantities above. You get it? Yes, that's our supply curve. Because if we have this scenario here, no, the firm will not supply that because it's too rent and this firm has already shut down. But this firm can supply any units above the AVC. Common sense. So our shutdown point is here. DAR this is one of the easiest graphs you can draw. So in an exam, draw it like this. But I, I did it the way I did it for you to understand how we get, to, how we even get to this. So as always, uh, thank you so much for watching my videos, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the to to the channel if you haven't uh, subscribed already. Uh, have a good day. Thank you so much.